One, two, three, four, five, six. So oh, much God. value. Yeah. Woo. Let's go. Make it stop. I think we're going to try and go big this turn. Trigger. I'm rooting for you guys, honestly. How gracious. Joey Long's just doing it. I can respond to that. Ooh. Okay. That's spicy. Yeah, that saves your butt. Could have worked something out. I'm so far behind. I'm blaming Mia. Right that wow. is incredible. Wow. Thank you, Mia. You're welcome, buddy. Got him. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Extra Turns. Today on the show, we have a very fun one because every player is piloting a budget commander deck. Yeah, that's right. Something you've been asking us to do for a while and as special guests for this, we brought on some budget experts from the nitpicking nerds. We have BZ and Mia. Yeah, and they make a ton of great budget content on their channel as well as just a ton of stuff around commander as well. Yeah, so if you want to pick up any of the cards that you're about to see us play, these decks are very fun, very powerful. Yeah. I can never tell the difference when I'm playing budget versus when I'm not, honestly. <laughs> Just go to cardkingdom.com slash command. You can pick up any of the singles, maybe these entire decks. We have all the deck lists in the show notes. Card Kingdom we love because they have a huge inventory. If you're looking for a card, they're going to have it. They're going to have it in the condition you want, in the version you want. And they are one big retailer, so you add all the whole deck list to the cart. You hit checkout, and it all comes in one convenient package to your doorstep. You don't have to wait for 20 different packages to show up. Again, if you're looking for magic products, singles, anything at all, cardkingdom.com slash command is the place to go for all that. And if you want to stay on that budget and outfit your deck with all of the best accessories, go to ultrapro.com slash command because this website often has some incredible deals on so much of their products when it comes to sleeves, binders, deck boxes, play mats, and more. If you want to make yourself look amazing and stay in perfect condition, get Ultra Pro sleeves, put them into a satin tower deck box, do whatever it is that makes your play experience even better. Go to ultrapro.com slash command. And of course, the final way to support all of our content is directly if you go to patreon.com slash command zone. Patrons get all kinds of cool perks. They talk with Jimmy, myself, Rachel, a lot of the rest of our team on our Discord. We are on there each and every day. There's also access to this show, Extra Turns, and mm -hmm. Game Nights earlier than the general public. We have other rewards at different tiers. We even have exclusive content that's only available if you are patron members. Patreon.com slash command zone. That's the place to go if you want to join our community and support this content. And if you want to support the content by being on the content, you could win a guest spot to be on Extra Turns because our next WhatNot stream, we are giving that away March 27th, 1 p.m. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Yeah, if you're watching the show, maybe you want to be on the show. Yeah. You want to show off one of your decks, compete for Commander Glory. Again, it is a WhatNot stream. That's where we're going to be giving away that guest spot. All of those details are in the show notes. Click the link, bookmark it. Be there March 27th at 1 p.m and then you'll have a chance to come to Los Angeles. We'll fly you out. You'll oh, hang out wow. with Jimmy and I, the whole staff, and, of course, be on the show. So very exciting. But, of course, we have an extra turns games to get into as well, so let's get budgeting and see who comes out on top. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Extra Turns. Today we're doing something a little spicy. We're brewing on a budget. So we've brought on a couple of brand new guests who you probably already know from YouTube because they are experts at building really powerful decks without breaking the bank. Hi, I'm Mia, and you might know me from Nitpicking Nerds. And I'm BZ, the taller half of the Nitpicking Nerds. We make Commander strategy videos to help you get better playing Magic. We got live streams on YouTube twice a week, and we're making a bunch of YouTube shorts too. And I'm super happy to be here on the budget episode. Me and Mia make budget decks all the time, so I think we got a pretty good shot at this. And today, I've paired Bailoff Baratil with the background Noble Heritage. This deck is all about forcing my opponents to attack each other, then punishing them for it. So I've got plenty of goad, some sneaky combat tricks, and even 1-1 one -one counter synergies for my background. With everyone else caught up in combat chaos, they should pave the way for my win. The deck I'm playing is Jorel, Voice of Zalfir. This is a lands deck, but with a twist. Because my plan is to turn those lands into creatures. So I've got a bunch of classic landfall pieces, along with a suite of land animation spells. And then I can pump my awakened mana and turn it into a game-ending attack. My commander for today is Svela, Ice Shaper. I want to get my commander out early, so she can start making Icy Manolith after Icy Manolith. Then, once I've ramped up enough, I'll use her second ability to dig for big Gruel Beaters. With a ton of resources and some heavy-hitting creatures, I'll put all my opponents on ice. And my budget deck is led by Sephiris of the Hidden Ways. This is a dungeon-based reanimator deck. My commander helps me venture if creature cards hit the bin from anywhere. So I'll make that happen with sacrifice outlets, looting, and discard effects. Then, once I'm done with the dungeon, I'll bring a big threat back from the dead and take over the table. All right, 
Let's do this. Time to answer the fungin. My deck may be budget, but it's worth its weight in gold. Svella! Okay, ready, ready? You bet. Yeah. Let's do it. You. I will draw for turn. I will play an island, and then I will tap it and play wizard class. Oh. Ooh. I have no maximum hand size. Sick. Yep, I only have six cards though. Go ahead. I'll draw. I'm gonna play a game trail and show you all that I have this mountain. Guys, Ooh. remember his mountain. Information. Write that down, <laughs> and I will pass. I will draw for turn. Write that down. <laughs> I will play Rugged Prairie, and I will tap one, and I will play Wayfarer's Bobble, and nice. then I will pass. I thought all it was right. gonna be Soul Ring. I keep, I keep, I keep getting stressed with these turn yeah. one plays. Okay, I'll draw for turn. I'll play a Contaminated Aquifer, tapped, and pass turn to Josh. All right, I will untap. I will draw. Okay, I'll play a Forest, and I'll tap two, and I will play an Explore. Nice. So I'll draw a card, and now I will play my additional land, which is a Simic Growth Chamber. So I'll bounce this forest back to my hand. Go ahead, BZ. All right, I will untap, and I will draw. Looks like I revealed that mountain for nothing, so I'll play it. And then I will also play Goblin and Archomancer. Nice card. I'm going to untap, and I'll draw for turn. I will play a mountain for turn, and then I will pass. All right, I'll untap and draw for turn. I will play a Port Town, revealing this Sunlit Marsh as a Plains, so it enters untapped. Then I will cast an Arcane Signet, and pass turn to you. A lot of land revealing this game. A lot yeah. of yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the most that I've ever seen. I will untap. Yeah, I will draw. Then I will play, surprise, surprise, a forest. I'll cross that off my list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll pass the turn. Whoa. Okay. Untap, draw. And then I'm going to use the Anarchomancer to cast Svella for just two mana. Hooray. Pretty good. But I'm also going to play a bounce land. I'm going to play Gruel Turf and bounce my mouth. That's a pretty Gruel Turf. Thank you ah. so much. And I will pass turn. On your end step, I will tap two mana and crack my Wayfarer's Bauble. And I will search my library and go find a basic land. Sweet. It's going to be planes, and it's going to come into play tapped. Uh huh. And I'll untap everything, and I'll draw for turn. And then I'm going to play Spinerock Knoll that has a hideaway trigger. I'm going to look at the top four cards in my deck. I'll hide away this one, and maybe I can cast it later. Pretty good. And the rest will go on the bottom of my deck. Yep. I will also tap three mana, and I will play Professional Facebreaker. Ooh. Not too bad. And then I will pass my turn. Pretty good. All right, let's untap and draw for turn. I'm going to play that Sunlit Marsh I revealed last turn, and then I'm going to tap for all three colors of mana and cast my commander, Sephiroth of the Hidden Ways, and pass turn. Okay, on your end step, I'm going to tap four. I'm going to cast Eureka Moment. So I will draw two cards, and then I can put a land onto the battlefield, and I will put out an island. Just Simic things. Simic things. So oh much gosh. value. I'm so far behind, it feels. <laughs> then I will untap. I will draw for turn. Then I'm going to tap four, and I'm going to play my commander, Jorail, Voice of Zalfir. Woohoo! I will go to combat, trigger my commander, I will target this island, and it will become a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. That's spicy. Right. Flyer. Everyone's pretty even out there. I not me, I'm not me, I'm yeah. fourth. That's like, <laughs> that was like even. BZ has his commander out. He does, so but Jimmy. Facebreaker's really good. Stop it, it BZ. <laughs> yeah, but Jimmy's fourth. That's true, Jimmy is Jimmy fourth. fourth. I'm fourth All right, well they lands. convinced me, BZ. Just hit me. Just get it over with. Seven in the air. Ouch. 33. Okay, and then when that deals combat damage to you, that is a land, dealing damage to a player, so my second ability on Jorel will trigger, and I will draw a card. Luckily, I have not played my land this turn, so I will play another island, and I will pass. I have not seen that card before. It does not mess around. No. Uh, I will it's gonna be, draw. It's going to be seven yeah, damage every turn, minimum. A lot. All right, I'll play an Exotic Orchard for a turn. I'm going to tap four mana, and I'm going to use the reduction on Anarchomancer to play Escape to the Wilds. Nice. Ooh. Nice, nice. I'll exile the top five cards in my library. Three lands, Inferno Titan, and Ignite the Future. Okay. Ooh, nice. I'm going to go ahead and play this Highland Forest since I get an extra land, and then I'm going to pass to Mia. I'm going to untap and draw. Okay, I am going to move to combat. Yep. I'm going to be hit next. So, Josh, I'm going to swing two at you. Well, now you're going to be hit next. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey, I, I'm third. Second, yep. third. It's just going around at this point. Fair enough. What does that make me? <laughs> <laughs> you have one turn. Last, just like the turn order. <laughs> All right, uh, I can't block because it has Menace, so I'll take two. That's going to 38. I'm going to make a treasure. Boop. And second main phase, I am going to pay two, and I'm going to bring out my background, Noble Heritage. And I'm going to also pay two, and I will play Mindstone. Nice. And then I will pass for turn. All right, I'm going to untap, and then I will draw my card for the turn. 
Okay, let's tap four mana, and I'm gonna cast an Auric Lore Mage. Ooh. All right, I don't have a land, so I will be missing that for this turn. Oh no, really, are we there? We're there. Already? And I don't feel like attacking, so I'll pass turn to Josh. All right, I'm gonna untap. I will draw. Okay, I will tap six, and I will cast Rampaging Bayloth. Oh, go. Okay. let's go! Then I will play a land. A. I will trigger that landfall on the Baylos and I will make a 4-4. This is classic. This is like original Commander. <laughs> yeah, this is, I feel like I played Commander in 2017. The 2012 yeah. time yeah. capsule. <laughs> All right, then I will go to combat and my Commander will trigger. I will turn this forest into a one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Whoa. And uh, as promised, Mia, six, six in the air coming at you. Understandable, no blocks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Down to 34. And then I will draw a card from Jorel's second ability. And at the end of my turn, my land becomes just a land again. I want one. <laughs> a land? Yeah. <laughs> and a bird. <laughs> and some green. <laughs> All of it. Anything, yeah. Do you want to switch seats? Cool, yeah, yeah. You can sit in the chill out in this cube. <laughs> it's green. It's green. It is, good point. You got a little green. You know what, I'm staying here. <laughs> Beasy, take it away. All right, let's untap and draw. I'll start by playing this Mossfire Valley. And then I gotta get value out of this now, so I will tap five. And since I have reduction of one, I will cast Inferno Titan. Yeah! <laughs> well, the answer is I divide three damage, and there's a lot of three threes. Three <laughs> toughness is in play, but I think I have to go one, two, three at Joel Rayo. You know it was gonna hit Jimmy next, right? I do, <laughs> I do, but I wanted to give him some time yeah, to recover. Fair enough. Uh, Jorel down. I can't use these cards, so they're gonna go away. I'll remember this, BZ. For how long? I don't know. At least one turn. <laughs> I'm like a, what is it, a goldfish, we'll see. <laughs> remember what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> all right, Mia, it is now your turn to play Bayloth and make us all sad. Okay, I'll untap, upkeep, draw. Yeah, I'm gonna pay five, and I'm gonna play my commander, Bayloth, Baratol, Entertainer. Yikes. And that'll trigger my background, so I'm gonna put two on Bayloth. Anything that you guys have with power three or less is goaded. All right, I will put two 1-1 counters on Sephiroth. Okay, I will put two counters on my Rampaging Bayloths, making I, it an 8-8. I don't want this Anarchomancer to die into combat, so I'm gonna give him two counters so he's not goaded. I think after that, I will pass for turn. I will untap, and in my upkeep, I'm gonna tap the Auric Lore Mage, search my library for a card, and put it into my graveyard. Nice. I'm going to find an obsessive stitcher and put that into my graveyard. When I do that, Sephiroth of the Hidden Ways will trigger and I'm going to adventure into the dungeon. What dungeon? I'm going into the Lost Mine of Fandelver. I will enter at the cave entrance and I will scry one. I'm gonna keep that on top because it's a land. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Woo! let's go. I will draw <laughs> for turn. I'm going to first tap two mana and cast an Azorius Signet. There we go. And then I will pay a white and a black and I will play the Priest of Felrites. Mm. That one's pretty scary. Well, it allows me to get my Stitcher back. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. And then I will play an Orzhov Basilica as my land for turn, and I will return this Port Town to my hand as it's the only card I potentially could play untapped as a land next turn. Is this game like an advertisement for Bounce Lands or something? Yeah, I think <laughs> so. Bounce Lands are severely underrated. He's the underrated. only one who doesn't have one. Yeah. I don't like Bounce Lands personally. They're so good. <laughs> well, they he just like drew you. a card off his land. <laughs> Woohoo! He has a guaranteed land drop. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's gonna do it for me. I'll I'll pass turn to you, Josh. I will untap. I will draw. I think we're gonna try and go big this turn. Hold Let's on, do it. hold on your butts, everybody. That time already? <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm gonna tap five. Okay. And I'm gonna play Traverse the Outlands. Ooh. Oh, no. Eight yeah. basic lands? Oh. X is equal to eight. Whoa! I don't have a response. Holy no response. Holy. Any response, Jimmy? No, I can't. Oh, yeah, do it. Was your mana. I'm yeah. just gonna admire the play. <laughs> All right, so I will search my library for a bunch of basic lands here, and I will find four islands and four forests. And those will enter the battlefield tapped. Nothing else happens, right? That's, it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna be eight rampaging Bayloth triggers. Oi, oi, oi. I will play my land for turn, and that will be one more 4 4 beast. So there's nine now. Wow, casual 36 power on board. Then I'll go to combat, and Jimmy? Yep. I'll swing at you with my 8 8 trample. Okay, I am not blocking that, so I'm gonna take eight and go to 32. And that's it, I will pass the turn. Oh, that was it, huh? Yeah. I will uh, untap and draw. Not, not that impactful, I see. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tap green, green. 
I'm gonna play Eternal Witness. Okay. When it enters the battlefield, I wanna return this Escape to the Wilds and dig for answers. Yeah, not a bad okay. idea. It's gonna go back to my hand and I'm just gonna play it. Take the top five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, not the most helpful assortment of cards. Rising of the Day, Kogla, Garrick's Uprising, and Fires. All right, I will play this forest as my first land. I will play this mountain for my hand as my additional land. All right, I will tap two mana and I'm gonna play Garrick's Uprising. When it enters, I do control a four power creature, so I'll draw. Sure. All right, I'll go to combat, and I do have to attack with this fella. Uh, Jimmy, her fate is in your hands. I will attack you for two. Beezy, I realized after thinking about my deck that I may have some answers, and okay. this two damage might matter. Yeah, I understand. So I'm gonna block with my Sephiroth. It's a I, four or five. I'm not blaming you, I'm blaming Mia. Oh, good, she good, She forced good. this. Well, he, he had to die. attack, it wasn't like, yeah. yeah. It had to attack because of you. Trigger. So it was your fault. Because a goaded attacking creature has died, I make one treasure from Baloth. All right, Mia, I'll pass to you. Okay. Untap, and Noble Heritage triggers at the beginning of my upkeep. Would you like counters? Well, I will be taking counters. She's always going to. I also will be putting two counters on my Sephiris. You know what, I have plenty of power on the board. I don't need two more. I'm not gonna do it. I don't know what Jimmy has. Maybe it's like, if it's minus four, minus four, maybe this matters. I know that not attacking Mia does not matter. So I'll take the counters. So I'll make my Anarchomancer into a 6-6. Six, six. And then I am going to pay four mana and I'm gonna play Showdown of the Skulls. Nice. Its first chapter is that I'm gonna exile the top four until the end of my next turn, I can play them. It's a land and teamer battle rage, Citadel Siege, and Swiftfoot Boots. So I'm going to play this planes for turn. And then I'm gonna pay two for Swiftfoot Boots. Yep. And I'm going to pay one treasure to equip them onto Baloth. Makes sense. I think I'll move to combat. And I think I'll I think I'll just pass right through combat, honestly. Just, <laughs> yeah. Just pass. Okay. Let's untap. That's a sad face breaker. It is. And I will draw my card for turn. I'm gonna tap my Orc Lore Mage once again and activate it and search my library for a creature card. I'm going to find Monstrosity of the Lake and put it into my graveyard. When that enters the graveyard, that will trigger my commander, so I will venture once more into the dungeon. I'm gonna go to the mine tunnels and create a treasure token. Ba bing I will play a port town as my land for turn, and I will reveal a planes from my hand, so it comes in untapped. Two lands, oh my god, <laughs> bears are rich. Incredible, yeah. yeah. Jimmy Wong's just doing it. Who are you and what have you done with the real Jimmy <laughs> Um <laughs> Because I have to activate this at sorcery speed, I'm going to tap and sacrifice my Priest of Felrites. And I'm gonna pay three life, going to 29. And I'm gonna return target creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield, and it will be this monstrosity of the lake. Beefy boy. Yeah. Which probably sounds right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that sounded like a murloc, actually. <laughs> oh. That's it. I used to play the murloc deck in Hearthstone. Oh, nice. <laughs> we'll work on the sound effect. We'll get it better next. Yeah, don't worry about it. When this enters the battlefield, I can pay five mana, and if I do, I tap all creatures my opponents control, and then I put a stun counter on each of those creatures. Well played, sir. So I'll tap one, two, three, four, five and activate that ability. So every creature that you all have has a stun counter on it. It'd be hard to put a billion stun counters on the board, so we can just remember it. Okay, well, everything gets tapped. They're all tapped. Everything. Yay, we're not goaded. I mean, we are, but we can't do anything about it. <laughs> no, 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 Jimmy's still goaded. It's That's fine. an upside. <laughs> Jimmy's still goaded. Oh, yeah. Ooh, he can attack us. <laughs> us? <laughs> it's not us. <laughs> Josh, you are now open, I believe, so I'll swing at you with a 6-7. Sephiroth of the Hidden Ways. Let's see what that three mana is. You know what, I'm gonna tap three and I'm gonna play Joint Exploration. I will look at the top two. I will put them back like that. Whoa. I will draw and I will put a land onto the battlefield. It's a forest. I will make a 4-4 four because four of the Baloths. And then I will block Sephiroth with my beast. Okay. <laughs> Not taking six. Yeah. When that dies, it was goaded, so I'm going to get a treasure off Bela. Wow, that's cool. I will tap a blue and a white in my second main, and I'm gonna play Pippin, Guard of the Citadel. Uh, instead of the Mother of Runes, sort yeah. of. Pippin of Runes. All right, that will do it for me. I'll pass turn to you, Josh. Okay, I will untap my lands, but my creatures have stun counters, so they will stay tapped, but the stun counters are now gone. Boy, that's a lot of lands. <laughs> no kidding. Then I will draw for turn. Wish that were me. I will start off by paying three, and I'm gonna cast Skullwinder. Ooh. When I enter the battlefield, I'm gonna return this Traverse, 
the Outlands to my hand. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Make it stop. And then I'm going to target Mia. You can return a card from your graveyard to your hand. Anything Thank you. you want. <laughs> yep. So you many can, choices. Yep, 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 you can have anything as long as it's Wayfarer's Bobble. <laughs> Don't play it again, Josh. Just wait. <laughs> Don't do it. Wait for your moment. Hold on. Then I'm going to tap five. No. And I'm going to play Zendikar's Royal. Oh. Yes, of course. Of course. Yeah, because last time wasn't cool enough. Although, who knows how many basics are left in here? Fail to find. I feel there's still enough. And then I'm going to tap five, and surprising no one, I am going to replay Traverse the Outlands. Oh my God. Oh my God. Maybe I should have taken the two counters, <laughs> but I didn't know I was going to draw that Skullwinder. All right, so I will search my library. You don't even, do you even have? I don't know. That's, <laughs> right? I might be out of basics. This is sick. All right, though. so now if we wipe the board, all Josh's landfall stuff is garbage because there's no more lands to fall. That's a good point. <laughs> no more falling. That's a really good point. Yet. For the rest of the game, I'm not hitting landfall triggers. This might be it. You'll get your non basics, which there are like three or whatever. I don't know. He found those pretty fast. Oh, there were eight. Okay, there are eight. I, I mean, it's a land stick, so there are more than more yeah. lands than normal. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'll search my library. And I will find, once again, four forests and four islands. Oh my goodness. And this time, there are Rampaging Bailoth triggers and Zendikar's Royal triggers. So yeah. I'll make eight more beasts and eight 2 2 green elementals. Okay, guys, we, we were joking before. We were playing around. Now we actually need to find a board. Right? <laughs> yeah. For real, though. Now we got to wipe out the board, day. Eh? <laughs> I'm rooting for you guys, honestly. <laughs> If you're watching this, that means you like games, specifically strategy card games. Yeah, and we've got a new one to share with you here that we've been playing around the office a ton. It's called Kinfire Delve Scorn Stockade. It's basically a dungeon run where you face a series of challenges before taking on a powerful final boss. And it really is perfect for magic players. It lets you use your skills from Commander, but in a co-op setting that rewards you for good threat assessment, teamwork, and planning ahead. Scorn Stockade is easy to learn, but you've got to be smart if you want to win, because the challenges change every single time you play. We've jammed a ton of games and they've all felt different, which is pretty impressive considering it's only 20 bucks. Yeah, it is an amazingly high quality product at that price. The cards, the dice, even the box, they all feel premium. On its own, Scorn Stockade supports up to two players, but if you pick up the previous Kinfire Delve set, being Glory's Grotto, you can combine them and play with four people. So it's great for mixing things up with your commander pod. Exactly, it'll give you a chance to work together and, you know, heal the wounds from those shady political deals that you made. Uh, that's more of a you problem, Josh. What? No, everyone's always happy with all the deals they make with me, aren't they? Order Kinfire Delve Scorn Stockade at kinfiredelve.com and use code COMMAND10 at checkout for 10% off. That's a whole lot of game for just 20 bucks. Plus, pick up the first set, Bangalore's Grotto, for the full four-player experience. Again, that's kinfiredelve.com and use code COMMAND10 to score 10% off. All right, everybody ready to film another episode of Extra Turns? Yep, I've got my deck and my dice. We've got all of our play maps, but it does feel like something's missing. Oh yeah, where's our fourth player? Huh. Well, it could be you! That's right, we're teaming up with Whatnot to give away a spot on Extra Turns. This is the biggest giveaway we've ever done, and if you want to be a part of it, you need to tune in to our Whatnot stream on March 27th at 1 p.m. Pacific. We'll fly the winner out to sunny Los Angeles, California, so they can hang with us and all of the Command Zone play games, and of course, face us with their favorite deck in an epic Extra Turns battle. Wait, why are we talking like this again? I don't know, it just felt right. <laughs> anyway, the WhatNot stream is gonna be amazing. We'll be chatting and doing giveaways the whole time. Plus, we managed to put together one final round of our Game Nights mystery boxes. Yeah, these things have sold out super fast every time. Like, less than two minutes fast. And they're the only way to get exclusive merch like our Nemesis playmats. There's some really great pulls in this batch, too. We've got masterpieces, invocations, a Wheel of Fortune, a Gaia's Cradle, the list goes on. This is literally all we have left, though. So if you want to pick up a mystery box or get a chance to play on extra turns, make sure you sign up using our link at whatnot.com slash invite slash command and be there for our stream on March 27th at 1 p.m. Pacific. You'll even get 15 bucks free just for signing up that you can use anywhere on the platform. It's a pretty sweet deal. Definitely. I know I wouldn't want to miss it. So are we not playing Commander right now? No, this is just a promo. If you guys are afraid of my deck, you can just say so. <laughs> oh, yeah. everyone's afraid of your decks. Come on. I think it might need more card draw. Who are you talking to? Or is that just something you say? Oh, no, I'm on a call with Jimmy. We're uh, building a Chatterfang deck. Ooh, I just added Toski. That should help, right? Whoa, the card just showed up. Yeah. With Architect, you can collaborate in real time from anywhere in the world. Changes show up immediately. You don't even have to reload the page. So it's perfect for brewing with a friend. 
This is cool, but isn't Jimmy just upstairs? Yeah, but I'm I'm downstairs right now. I ain't coming downstairs. Architect is the best place to browse, brew, and playtest commander decks. Just go to architect.com slash command zone to get started. That's A-R-C-H-I-D-E-K-T dot com slash command zone. All right, so I'll search my library and I'll find, once again, four forests and four islands. Oh my goodness. And this time there are Rampaging Bayloth triggers and Zendikar's Royal triggers. So yep. I'll make eight more beasts and eight two two green elementals. These ones are untapped, but goaded, right. but also summoning sick. I'm gonna pass the turn. I will untap my lands, but my creatures now have one less stun counter on them. Always looking on the bright side. Go for a Kessig Wolf run as my land for turn. I'm gonna tap five mana, thanks to my reduction, and Archimancer's doing some work. I'm gonna cast Itali, Primal Storm. Ooh. Okay, nice. If it resolves, I'm gonna draw a card when it enters. I have no response. No response. No response. I'll draw. And then I will also cast Fires of Yabimayo. Oh, not bad. And I will go to combat. All right, Mia does have protection for me, but I can still attack her, so I don't want Tali to die. I will send six at Mia, and there will be a trigger. Okay. okay. All right, everybody flip the top card of their deck. Let's see what I got. I hit a Command Tower, a Vohar, Layweaver, and Death Kiss. Right. Oh my gosh, that Death Kiss with Josh's board. All right, so the Command Tower is gonna stay exiled. Okay. But I'm gonna cast the other three. So I do have an ETB trigger on Death Kiss. I'll draw a card from Garrick's Uprising. All right, I will also tap this for a green. We're gonna play an Elvish Mystic. Hold on, I'm gonna tap it for a Llanowar Elves. Can you kill any of my cards? The Monstrosity actually is the one that has to die. So I realize I can actually get the Monstrosity out if I finish this dungeon next turn. And I'll be able to lock Josh's board down for at least one more turn. I just attacked with a Tali. We could've, we could've worked something out. Oh, you're right, sorry. Well, can anyone kill it now? Hold on, I, I might be able to still. Because my creatures have haste, I can keep doing stuff. So I'm gonna use Lay Weaver to untap this Gruel Turf and this Exotic Orchard. And then I'm gonna tap Llanowar Elves and these three lands, and I'm gonna cast this Cobla. Nice. Jimmy, I'm gonna fight your Monstrosity of the Lake, and I also have a card to draw when it enters. All right, Monstrosity of the Lake will die, and that's gonna trigger my commander, so I'm gonna venture into the dungeon one more time. I'm going to the Dark Pool. Each opponent will lose one life, and I'll gain one life. Ouch, I'll go to 32. I'll go to 37. 33. And I go up to 30. All right, it doesn't really matter too much, but I'm gonna activate my Vohar to draw and then discard. I'm just gonna discard a forest and Mia, it's all you. I'm going to untap and not my creatures because I still have stun counters on them and I'm going to have a noble heritage trigger. Would anyone like counters? Um, Does it matter? I will take counters. <laughs> Thank you, Mia. You're welcome, buddy. I will take some counters. No counters for me. Yeah, I'm just gonna say no. My creatures have haste, so who knows what's gonna happen. I'll put two counters on this Pippin. It's still goaded, but it's bigger now. Yeah. And then I'm gonna draw for turn and I'm going to uptick Showdown of the Skulls. Its second mode is whenever you cast a spell this turn, put a 1-1 counter on target creature you control. Oh. I'm gonna play Exotic Orchard as land for turn. And then I am going to pay one, two, three, and four. And I'm gonna play Life of the Party. Oh, yikes. Okay, so everyone gets a Life of the Party copy. Life of the Party, this yeah. is gonna be fun to draw. I'm a bad drawer. Yeah. Here yeah, you go. I'm I'll bad. give you guys some reference art. Okay, okay. I also have a trigger on Showdown of the Skulls and I'm going to put the one one counter on Bailoff. All right, and let's reveal our Life of the Parties. Three, two, one, the Life of the Party. There we go. <laughs> Jimmy's is doing staying alive. Saturday Night Fever. I hope to be staying alive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's really, <laughs> it's very thematic, yeah. I'm not sure that that card specifically helps you stay alive, but it's yeah, pretty good, yeah. yeah. Yeah, And I'm going to also pay four mana and use one treasure for it. I'm gonna play Outpost Siege. And for the mode, I'm gonna choose cons. Nice. So trigger on showdown, I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter on Bailoff. So now it's got 10 power? Yes. Oh, everything's goaded. Everything under 10 is goaded right now. After that, I'm going to pass for turn, and at the end of my turn, I'm not able to play Citadel Siege or Team or Battle Rage anymore. Pass turn? Yes. All right, I will untap. I will go to my upkeep, and then I will draw for turn. Play a land for turn, it's a plains. I'm going to activate my Auric Lower Mage, and I will once again search my library for a card and put it into my graveyard. Yeah, it's just in Tomb every turn. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty good. good. It is pretty good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to search for a Sunblast Angel, and Ooh. I'm gonna put that into my graveyard. Now we're getting somewhere. That is going to trigger my commander one last time, so I will move to the last part of my dungeon, the Temple of Dumathoin, and I will draw a card. 
And when I complete that dungeon, it is going to trigger my commander as well, and I can return a creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield. So I will return the Monstrosity of the Lake. I see what's happening. There's, yep. huh? There's the combo. That's pretty cool. When that enters, I will tap one, two, three, four, five mana, and I'm going to tap down all of the creatures my opponents control and put a stun counter on all of them. Tap. But now they're not going, they're gonna die before they untap. This yes. time it might be their last time. And then I will tap two mana and I will play Jarena, Dauntless General. When Jarena enters the battlefield, I get to exile target player's graveyard. I'm actually gonna choose you, Mia. Cool. I'll go to combat and all of my creatures that can attack are goaded. So I will begin to swing out. Josh, I will swing at you with the life of the party and Sephiroth of the Hidden Ways. And I'll swing Pippin at you, BZ. On that attack, I have a Death Kiss trigger. Okay. So that's gonna double the power of the creatures attacking Josh. But because that resolves first, my life of the party has not gained plus X plus O, so only Sephiroth is gonna get the power bump. It is now a 12-7, and my life of the party would just be a 6-1. I have no blocks. I also have no blocks. Okay, I will take 18, going to 19. Ooh. Jeez. And I will take four. <laughs> I go into 28. Easy goes, ouch. <laughs> and I go, <laughs> That is going to do it for me. I'll pass turn to you, Josh. Wow. All right, um, I will go to my untap. None of my creatures will untap because they have stun counters, although now they don't have stun counters anymore. Uh, and then, yeah, I, I have a bajillion lands. I'll put them in stacks of five, I guess, like this. And I will draw my card for the turn. All right, I'm going to start off by tapping three and activating my wizard class. Mm -hmm. Up to level two, so I'll draw two cards. All right, um, yeah, I think this is my play. I'm going to tap six, and I'm gonna cast Flood of Tears. Oh, oh no! The reset. So return all non-land permanents to their owner's hands. Yep. Okay. No responses here. No response. Yeah, no responses from me. All right, everything gets bounced. It's weird to do when I have 30 creatures. And half of them are not coming back. Yeah. It's that or you die. <laughs> but they were, all, they were all gonna die to the Sunblast Angel, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oof. That is a big reset. That is gigantic. Did bounce four non-land permits back to my hand, so I can put a permanent from my hand on the battlefield. I'll put the Bay Loss back out there. Oh, would you look at that. Big surprise. Then I'm gonna tap five. Why did I tap those ones backwards? That's weird. Six more. I'm gonna play my commander. Who else forgot about that? <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to go to combat. Jorel will trigger. This forest will become a 9-9, nine, because nine, I have nine cards in my hand. And Jimmy. Yeah, it feels like it. Yep, I will swing at you for nine in the air. Okay, I'll take nine, I'll go to 21. Okay, I will draw from Jarrell's second ability. And then, there's been a theme of this game, and I feel like we should just continue down that line. I'm gonna tap three, and I'm gonna recast Skullwinder. That's bad. Targeting Traverse the Outlands. Oh my gosh. And Mia, once again, you are allowed to return a card from your graveyard to your hand if you wish. How gracious. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> I should have exiled your graveyard. I didn't know you would bounce everything. <laughs> and then, well, I guess I still have this 9-9 flyer, so I will. Pay five. What do you guys think this is gonna be? <laughs> I, I got three guesses. <laughs> <laughs> and I will cast Traverse the Outlands. Third time's a charm, right? Yeah. Third time's a charm. Isn't this charming what I'm doing? <laughs> I think it's charming. Yeah, it's charming. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm pretty sure I don't have enough um, basics left to get Ooh, nine. Full, yeah. yeah, we'll see how many I get here. It's not gonna be nine. Okay, indeed there were not nine basics still left in my deck, but there were six. Jeez. You'll have to sell. Still yeah. So four forests and two islands come into play, and I will make six four four beasts. All right, and then I will go to my end step, and I have nine cards in hand. So I'm going to discard a Zendikar's Royal. And, <laughs> totally and, fair. Yep, and a Kalni Heart Expedition. Oh, very okay. fair. They both feel unlikely to even do anything anymore. BZ, take it away. Okay, so I'm going to untap all this stuff, and then I'm going to draw a card. Right, I will start rebuilding. Let's go for a Goblin, an Archomancer. I will also play the Fires of Yavimaya with one reduction. I'll play a Snow-Covered Forest as my land for turn. You're going to do something about Josh's board, right? Get ready. Land of our Elves. Oh, yay. But I'm not done yet. Elvish Mystic. Oh, all right. God, easy. You know, I was getting worried about what you had. This is great. I feel good about my life. <laughs> Just you wait. It's all going to get better now. I'm going to play Layweaver. I feel like if he was going to cast a board wipe, he wouldn't cast all those creatures first. Yeah, it's yeah. a good point. Yeah. What if he goes blast? <laughs> <laughs> I need more creatures on the board. That would be a power move. Never yeah. let them know your next move. <laughs> I will tap two for Crosin Restorer. I'm going to use Layweaver. I'm going to untap these two lands. 
And then I will use these lands to play Xenagos the Reveler. Oh. Oh, okay. You know, this Anarchomancer does not mess around. No Nature's kidding. With three loyalty. I'm gonna plus one Xenagos. Four, I will make three green and two red mana. With that, I will play this Atali, Primal Storm again. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. I will go to combat. Yep. I want to attack Josh. You know, my heart's there, but I think my brain says to attack Mia for six. And there will be an Atali trigger. All right, reveal the top card. That's not great. Two lands of Fierce Empath and a Victimize, which I have no creatures in the yard for at the moment. So I will only cast Fierce Empath. Everything else will stay exiled. Okay. That's one of my last lands. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> <laughs> no blocks. I'm going to take six. Going to 27. Fierce Empath will enter, and I will go search for a big creature. Mana value six or more. Ooh. I'm gonna reveal an Avenger of Zendikar and put it into my hand. Sweet. Okay, after that, I'm just gonna pass my turn, and I do have more than seven. I will discard three cards, two lands, and that Avenger that I just tutored for. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta ne never let him know your next move. Uh, I'll let him pass to Mia. I'll untap everything, and then I'll draw for turn. Six lands is an awkward place to be. Look at me, I got five. I think I'm just gonna try and set up, perhaps? I'm going to pay two for Noble Heritage. Yep. I'm going to pay three for Facebreaker, and I'm going to pay one, and I'm going to play Wafer's Bobble. And I'm going to move to discard. Okay. Did you not even play a land? Oh, no, I just was like asking. Sorry, bro. Did the <laughs> land get bounced back to my hand? What are you? <laughs> he was feeling for you, like, yeah. oh, you didn't even hit a land drop. Ugh. My heart goes out to all of <laughs> Sounds sympathetic, but thank you. You missed your land drop. I've sang this song so many times for him in my, just, you know, he couldn't hear it because I was yeah. just in my mind. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to discard Mindstone, Goro Goro, Death's Kiss, and Outpost Siege and pass. I will untap and I will draw for turn. Guess it's come down to this. Play a land. It all comes <laughs> down to It all comes down to this. <laughs> Finally playing a land. <laughs> Finally, I'm playing a land. Um, Six land, everyone. I'm going to tap seven mana. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Diluvian Primordial. Ooh. Okay. So do you want to traverse of, the Outlands? I do not want to traverse the Outlands. I would like to flood some tears. <laughs> and from your graveyard, I would like to cast your escape to the wild, Speezy. And Mia, you got nothing? Nope. Okay, I'm going to tap my one blue and I'm going to cast. Oh god, how can you counter it? Spell pierce targeting oh, the flow of tears. Spell pierce. Wow. <laughs> he can target his own spell. Wait, I can respond to that. I'm gonna untap Jimmy's Basilica. Thank you. Oh, you can untap his thing. Yes, no. I will pay two. No. <laughs> yes, no way. <laughs> Holy moly. Wow. Wow. Whew. Yeah, that saves your butt. This is a politicking right here. Wow. That is incredible. Wow, okay. All right, well, Flood of Tears resolves. Let's bounce everything. Again. Everything will get bounced. I will not get the secondary trigger off the Flood of Tears, but I will get to escape the wilds. So I will exile the top five cards in my library, like that. So I've exiled a Azorius Chancery, a Sky Cloud Expanse, Corpse Connoisseur, Shriek Maw, and Eagles of the North. And I can play them until the end of my next turn, as well as an additional land. I'm gonna play this Azorius Chancery, and I will bounce this Plains to my hand as my second land for this turn. And now I'll move to my end step, and I need to discard six cards. Oh, that's super good for you. I'm going to discard two lands, a Diluvium Primordial, Monstrosity Lake, Orc, Lore Mage, and a Signet. And then I'll pass turn to you, Josh. If anybody needs to use restroom, um, now's a good time. <laughs> While I untap, feel free. All right. I will untap my 30 lands, which equal 31 mana. And then I will draw for turn. I will start by paying one and playing wizard class. You're a wizard, Josh. And then I'm gonna immediately pay three more and go to level two on it. So I'll draw two cards. There it is. Oh. I don't like the sound of that. It's a cyclonic rift. <laughs> As you can see, I've figured it out. I've created a spreadsheet here and we're gonna just walk through it. Oh, are you deck building? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> is this a curve? All right, so first I'm gonna tap these four. The I'm gonna play this good. card and play my commander, Jarrell. Okay. Then I'm going to tap a total of six here, including two green, and I'm gonna channel Shigeki. Oh. Yeah, okay. and I'm gonna return two non-legendary cards from my graveyard to my hand. Ah, traverse the outlets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> traverse no longer, good. I'm gonna return this Eureka moment and the Explorer to my hand. Shigeki will go to my graveyard. Then I'm gonna tap four mana. I'm gonna cast this Eureka moment. I'm gonna draw two. I may put a land from my hand onto the battlefield. <laughs> it's a land that says kill BZ, I Do know it. it. <laughs> one more land. <laughs> and then I don't have a land in my hand, so I will not put one onto the battlefield. Next, I am going to tap 
four, and I am going to cast Kamal's Will. Ooh, boy. That's big. That's a big one. What are you going to choose? Uh, I can actually choose both because I do have my commander, okay. but there's uh, there's no point to the second one. So I will just say until end of turn, all of my lands become 1-1 one, one elementals with Vigilance, Indestructible, and Haste. Okay, well, fortunately you've tapped a bunch, so that's not that bad. Well... Then bad news. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's uh -oh. too soon. That pile that is conveniently off to the side. Yep, I'm gonna tap for nine. All perfects. And I am gonna cast Rude Awakening and oh. pay its entwine cost. Oh. Okay, don't do it. Okay, so I will untap all of my lands, and they become two twos with haste, vigilance, indestructible. Wow. Until end of turn or in general? Until end of turn. Then I'll go to combat. Jorel is going to trigger. I'll turn this forest into a 10 10 flyer. Okay. Still has vigilance, indestructible, and haste. All right, so Jimmy, the 10 10 flyer plus six of the two twos are coming at you. Okay. BZ. Bring it. 14 of the lands are coming your way. And then me and one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine two twos are coming at you. Seems like I'm taking a pretty convenient 28 damage. There's no un oh unless. There is no unless. This is real life. I am actually gone. I will be taking 18, no blocks. And I'm gonna take 22, no blocks. Down to nine. And then I got slippity slapped by a bunch of lands and one really big flying land. <laughs> Usually you walk on the land, sometimes the land walks on you. <laughs> oh. All right, but that's not all. That was 30 land creatures dealing combat damage to my opponents. So that is 30 Joel Rail triggers, and I will draw 30 cards. Jeez. That's bad. All right, so I will do one thing before I pass the turn, which is I will replay this Skull Winder. Uh, oh. And I will target this Root Awakening in my graveyard. Yep. And then Mia, you can bring whatever you want back from you your graveyard. Thank you. Time. Yeah, what do you I'm get? I'm so excited. Mine's done? Okay. Okay. Then I'll pass the turn. Good oh luck. boy. Thanks. <laughs> Untap and draw. I, I don't really think I can do anything with that. I mean, I can play Mindstone and I can look. That's not it. That's definitely not it. I, I drew Mirror Shield and Brea's Apprentice. <laughs> All right. That's not it. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Wow. <laughs> I'm just like the guy on my playmat. I rode my lands yeah. to victory. Hey. Victory. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, I've never seen so many lands in any game of Commander ever, actually. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> Every single basic in the deck. Casting Traverse the Outlands three, three times. Three times? Are yeah. you kidding me? This was kind of the game where people cast the same card multiple times. You yep. cast uh, Montrose the, the Lake. Lake multiple times. Yeah. Lock you down. Yeah. Um, it was actually amazing because at first I was like, this game is over. And then when I was able to search through my library, and I was like, wait a minute, I actually have multiple ways to stop this with this package of cards on the table. So I was really, really impressed with the budget build. Yeah, honestly, like playing that game, it didn't feel like any decks were any different power level than just the normal commander we yeah. play. And I think that's the great thing about Magic and about budget builds. Like they can totally hang. Totally. Yeah, with any deck you've got because we were all doing powerful things. And honestly, when you were looping that Monstrosity Lake, I was like, oh crap. Yeah, what are you going to do? I have all this stuff, but it's not going to matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, Mia was just coding, coding everything. everything. Yeah, yeah BZ's that. deck was going off. Like it I was, was so glad I had tap abilities. <laughs> yeah. I didn't need to be attacking. So if you want to build a budget deck for yourself, we do have all the deck lists always for all of our gameplay shows are always in the show notes. Um, you can, you know, you can change the decks, you can alter them, or you can just, you know, add to cart the whole thing at cardkingdom.com slash command and just pick it up. These are budget builds, so they are, you know, a lot easier to do that than with some of the decks that have, you know, shock lands and the other yep, stuff. Yep. Of course, if you want to pick up shock lands and the other stuff or any magic product or singles for your deck you're upgrading, plus a whole new budget deck that you might be building, all that stuff will come in one package all at once, you know, very quickly after you've ordered it on your doorstep, cardkingdom.com slash command. They just are the only place to go to get your magic cards, singles, everything. Yep, and then you're going to want to sleeve up that deck and just make it look awesome. Ultrapro.com slash command has all of that product and often at a great deal as well. They have an incredible newsletter. Sometimes they'll have flash sales, 30, 40, 50% off certain items. Ultrapro.com slash command always has not only one, but like hundreds of different options for me to make sure that whatever I get really matches my aesthetic and my collection collection and keeps my cards safe. And of course, before we go, we want to one more time just plug the fact that we are giving away 
a guest spot on Extra Turns, which means we will fly you out to Los Angeles. You will hang out with Jimmy, myself, Rachel, our crew. Then we'll shoot an episode of Extra Turns. You'll be one of the players. Whoa. Yeah, you get to appear on the show. We're giving that away on Whatnot on March 27th at 1 p.m. Yeah, and there's also a ton of other awesome stuff happening. We're selling some cool stuff there as well. So just don't miss the stream. You can bookmark it if you go on the Whatnot app to make sure you don't miss out. It's a ton of fun. So March 27th, 1 p.m., Whatnot. Again, all of those links in the show notes. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching this budget episode. Make sure you also check out Mia and BZ's channel, Olympic Nerds. We love them quite a lot. And we will see you all next time. Peace. Peace.